Hello beautiful Cancers, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Cancer. Thanks for stopping by and welcome if you're new to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Cancer, you are manifesting. Look at the magician card. Something very special is happening in your life. It's very magical. You've really, through your being through your spirituality, through who you are as a person. You have all the tools to manifest, and indeed you are certainly manifesting currently. So let's see what the energy is currently. That was a recent past. The judgment card. Okay, so you're passing judgment on a person, place, or situation. You are defining what you want very clearly so spirit can bring it to you. Uh, and you can act in conjunction with spirit uh, as a spiritual warrior. Queen of Pentacles energy. You have the energy of a new love or a beloved relationship in which someone is very nurturing with you. Somebody really looks out for you. It's the quote-unquote mommy card of the deck. It's really someone, it's a Capricorn queen. We also have Scorpio judgment and we have Gemini and Virgo magician. So lots of powerful beginnings here. The way your person views you as boss. Wow. <laughs> the emperor card. Your person sees you as someone who has held their own, who's very powerful, who's very strong. The person for whom you are interested or interacting at the present time is the seven of pentacles. They're invested to see where this relationship can go. Okay. What is the way that your person feels will take place? Let's look and see how they see the relationship unfolding. The Two of Cups. Look at that Cancer. Two of Cups. That is the quote-unquote bride and groom card of the Rider Waite. Hidden Energy is a world card. Both of you have expectations of possibly being the last romance that you ever have. So both of you are craving the end to a cycle of being single. You know, you both want partnership. You won't both want this very beautiful uh, marriage energy. The Ten of Pentacles, look at that spirit is saying, move forward, Cancer. Ten of Pentacles is a legacy relationship. It's one in which the family means everything. You can see them. You know, it shows that we have this sort of, almost like a King of Pentacles energy sitting there saying, I did the hard work for this. You know, this is what Spirit is saying. You've worked hard for this. You deserve a legacy uh, relationship in which you have a lot of financial security, a lot of abundance, really gorgeous. You you give abundantly, Cancer. You would give literally the shirt off your back. All right, your outcome is a lover's card, making a choice in love. That is Gemini energy. It is soulmate energy. So right now we have this gorgeous, gorgeous reading. Let's go ahead and look at the table shot so we can see the details. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this reading for you, Cancer. Really beautiful. Wow. All right, so why do we have the Magician card here? Why is the Magician card here in the recent past? Okay, somebody has come in and made an offer to you, Cancer. Somebody is making an offer. I like it. Page of Pentacles energy is Virgo energy. Somebody who might be a little bit younger. We get, look at this, a Queen of Pentacles energy is clarifying judgment. You and your person are both bringing this beautiful Queen of Pentacles stable energy into the relationship. When we look at your seventh house of marriage, you have Capricorn as your opposite for your seventh house of marriage. So this is a very good energy. You're bringing lots of love, lots of affection. You're magical much in your own way. You've been through the fires of judgment and you are now ready to step into your happiness. Look at this, your happiness. You are thrilled. The Seven of Cups, though, says that for many of you, 
your person of interest is not quite sure how things are going to go. This can also mean that your person of interest is not dating you or seeing you exclusively at this time. And I'm reading this uh, relationship as something that is coming to fruition as a new relationship and or a new opportunity between two people who've known each other a while. So take it as it resonates. Why is the Emperor card here for the way your person views you? Ooh, they think that you're awesome, Cancer. They feel as though you know exactly what you want and you are not settling for less, that you're a person who's really honest, and that essentially you don't want to hear, you don't even want to deal with anybody who isn't invested. You know, it shows that your person is not quite where you're at in this connection yet, and it looks as though they understand very clearly that if they aren't invested, that you are not having it, okay? So let's see what we have here for this Two of Cups. Two of Cups, why is the Two of Cups here for Cancer? That is one of your cards, Cancer. So it does look like uh, your person has probably left a marriage or other relationship. Uh, the energy here says that the two of you, if this is you, that the two of you may have had a period or, of separation or time apart. The Four of Cups is also clarifying it is perhaps somebody you've known a long time with whom you are no longer interested. So take it as it resonates. For some of you, a person is leaving a committed relationship for you and you're tired of waiting. But I really like the reading because we get the Ace of Pentacles with the World card. You are wholly invested in manifesting everything you want. You want the whole, whole thing. If you can't have, if you can't have what you want, you are not going to enter into this. Look at this star. Okay, here we have some ding, 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 ding. Engagement alert. The Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups is the engagement ring. The Three of Cups is best friends and the bridesmaids at your wedding. And this is the possibility, the hidden energy here, is that you might become engaged to this person. You might be secretly engaged to this person, not telling anyone else. Let's see why we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Look at this. This is a new love opportunity with someone that I think you've really known a while. That's how I see it. The ups and downs of life have taken their toll on both of you, but the two of you are very well connected, and you're choosing each other. What is the, why is the Lover's card here? The Lover's card actually used to be called The Choice. Throwing caution to the winds. Jumping in. Jumping into relationship. Cancer, this is so exciting. Let's take a look and see what the Oracle cards have to say about this relationship for you. I love this. Oh my God, what a gorgeous, powerful reading this is. You've done your work. You've taken care of yourself. You stood your ground when the going got tough. The tough get going is what they say. You have done a beautiful job. You have created roots and abundance in love. Nice. Oh, lovely. And we have earth magic. <laughs> We also have into me, I see. So your person is very much into you. And look at this abundance. We have, we have the abundance card twice with the earth magic card. It's almost, it's almost just a trifecta or quad, you know, quadfecta. I don't know what, whatever. But it really shows that you are just glowing up. Your person is really impressed with your fortitude with your no-nonsense quality about, you know, you want what you want, and what you want is reasonable and loving and beautiful. Sending you love, Cancer. Take care. Bye-bye.